President Bola Tinubu has assured investors that Nigeria is open to more investment as democracy now has a proper place in the country. President Tinubu spoke earlier today at the 10th German Nigerian Business Forum where he stated that Nigeria seeks a relationship to remove all hurdles to progress and also ensure that investors have a conducive environment for operations. The president also assured that his administration will continue to solve problems, not create new ones. A democracy should be if we fight for it. Yes, it is now very flexible and resilient in Nigeria. Be assured. Shake off the military era syndrome. Shake that off. You may have all other news from sections of Africa, but for Nigeria, democracy is there, is here, and we are partners. Nigeria voted for me for reforms. And from day one of my inauguration, I started the reform. Yes, it could be difficult in the past to do business in Nigeria, in Africa as a whole. But to any foresight and progressive business thinkers, to ignore the largest economy in Africa is not the solution your progressive side. Well, joining me now to discuss uh, the key point of today's meeting is the CEO, lead networker Africa, Chukuma Kenwa. Glad to have you join us on the world now. Um, if you can hear me, uh, Mr. Chukuma Kenwa, Let's talk about um, uh, how this, the effect of this meeting will help uh, in uh, technology development in Nigeria. Does this new cooperation ensure a transfer of technology from Germany to Nigeria? And how do you think it will help in a local content technology development in Nigeria this time? Yeah, certainly. I think uh, Mr. President, as the chief diplomat, has done his work well by putting Nigeria in uh, a good light uh, before the international community and particularly uh, Germany in terms of fostering our uh, bilateral relations with them. And one of the things he reminded uh, Germany, the fact that we have like a youthful population that is smart, educated, and all that is needed, all he advocates for is that uh, technology transfer, you know, to actually uh, help Nigeria to achieve uh, its potentials in terms of technology. Uh, so I see this uh, renewed commitment uh, towards building, leveraging on the strengths of others, and as well as allowing them to tap into our strength as one that is going to make uh, uh, Nigeria stronger. And I think it's commendable that about three weeks ago we have, uh, you know, uh, we have the, the German Chancellor, you know, coming into Nigeria, signing a pact with an MOU in terms of the solid mineral. And now one just also got signed today in the area of uh, liquefied natural gas. And we hope to see more of this collaboration, like Mr. President also cited in power and that of technology. So it's really going to revitalize every sector of our economy. Well, we also uh, know that uh, Germany's labor market faces an unprecedented shortage of skilled workers with over 630,000 unfulfilled, uh, unfilled job vacancies. With this new cooperation, can Nigeria help fill this gap? Yes, certainly. Like Mr. President reminded uh, uh, Germany that they cannot afford to not to do, you know, to do without Nigeria, uh, considering the potentials of our young, vibrant population. And you know that it's on record that Nigerians, you know, are quite disruptive when it, it comes to like tech bridging, tech thinking. And of course, like, you know, venturing, uh, uh, you know, in, in the aspect of, you know, making an impact in, in technology. So with that, I am sure that uh, there's a lot of opportunity for this uh, new wave of collaboration. You know, many young Nigerians could actually 
you know, moving there into uh, Germany to help fill up those, uh, those gaps that are there. And it's, I mean, it's opportunity on both sides. So you have many of our young Nigerians who are looking for job opportunities. You know, they could leverage on that. And then for Germany, that was also big business for them because you have, like, you're able to seek for talent that you don't have right in your country. Mm. Well, let's also, let's also talk about uh, the Memorandum of Understanding signed between both nations today and uh, key companies in Nigeria. Do you think this new rapport will likely, you know, bring the return of companies like the Volkswagen and also the German chemical company? Very important, of course, yeah. I think one of the things that really excited me uh, beyond signing uh, the Memorandum of Understanding, which has been like a diplomatic culture, and Mr. President did not fail to remind them also that in 2018 there was like even a, a sort of like that MOU between Nigeria and Yemen, uh, which eventually failed. But one thing he said that what is six now is to rebuild that confidence, right? Like a kind of create a relationship that will remove all those hurdles, right? You know, bring confidence, give the masters to Nigeria regulators. With that, like interest could be strengthened. And one of the things he told, like the you know the private uh, sector in Germany, is that his own type is a businessman. He understands how business works, and that's the kind of assurance that you know companies, you know, great uh, business mind and, and moguls need to be able to like invest into an economy. Permit me to say that for for some companies, for some CEOs. The money is not the problem. What they're actually looking for is the right place to invest and be assured of the return of investment. And Mr. President also told them that under his administration, he's going to operate an open-door policy. And that means that it won't be the case of you bringing your money, but when it comes to like repatriating back the funds you know, back to the country, it becomes a challenge. He says under his administration, that will be cut out for. And I hope that this is going to bring lots of investor confidence, which certainly is going to translate in terms of greater investment in Nigeria. Well, finally, before I let you go, the president also mentioned in his speech uh, uh, the removal of fuel subsidy, which he said uh, was the greatest burden, and also a pipeline to fraud and irregularities in Nigeria. This may seem too early, but can you say there has been you know, a noticeable change in Nigeria this time? Well, I think uh, at the moment, uh, Nigeria is here to leverage on the potentials of, you know, uh, fully uh, deregulating uh, that particular sector. Uh, but of course, uh, what, like, I would expect Mr. President to do, like, he is assured of his political will to ensure that our refineries are functioning optimally, particularly also mentioned for full operationalization of uh, the refinery in, in Patakot, and we expect the same all across our major refineries, even like that of Dangote. I am sure that when we begin to, like, we really enhance our local capacity, much with this policy of actually addressing the, the subsidies, scam, and fraud, you know, that is going to really set Nigeria, not just on the part of recovery, but also greater investor, conf investor confidence. And that will translate to foreign, more and more foreign direct investment. Many more nations will really begin to, like, you know, fight to do business with Nigeria. <laughs> Permit me to say that, for Germany to be the one that came to the country three weeks ago, and then also scheduling a, a meeting on the sidelines of the G20, really mean that they tend to need Nigeria more than we need them at this point. And I do hope we take advantage of that to negotiate and ensure that whatever thing we negotiate sustainably will help us to come out better and stronger as an economy. Well, CEO Lead Network Africa, Chuku Malkin, was speaking to us live from Enugu State. Thank you for joining us on The World Now. You're welcome.